Connected citizens are basically what we see happening across all different platforms. For example, you've got in the Arab Spring revolutions, in Tunisia, and in Egypt, and Syria, and Bahrain, and Dubai, you see people reaching out despite state oppression and communicating about the values they care about. In the business world, you see examples like the Pepsi Refresh project, where you see customers coming together and saying, please fund this initiative because I want to see this change in the world. And even in the political realm, you see things like the crowdsourcing of the new constitution in Iceland right now, because Iceland, there was a lot of violence against the banks after the global economic meltdown. So what the government is wisely doing is saying, let's involve you in the process. Here's what we're thinking. What do you suggest? And that's a, a collaboration that would never have existed before. How do you make brands to be more social? You ask them to do the most difficult thing in the world, which is to define what they stand for. It's not about technology, it's about what's your purpose. If you look in the heritage of a company, what does that tell you about why it exists? If you're a startup, you're a founder, you sit there and go, why am I starting this company? What are the values that inform that? And then bring those to life in social channels. So that's where the most important work needs to be done. And then once you've got that right, that's your compass through which to reach out on Twitter, Facebook and everything else. And you will engage your community through shared values. I think there's a shift which is almost counterintuitive for people, which is profit and purpose are no longer mutually exclusive. We used to think, well, I'm going to make my money and then if I've got something left, I'll do good. But now, because consumers have a voice, have a platform, they're saying, if you want us to buy your stuff, then you've got to do some good because we're very aware through the internet and social media how much trouble we're in as an economy, as a country, as a community. So the best way now for a brand to drive profit is through purpose. So it's interesting, brands need to reframe their self-interest. They need to be as self-interested as ever, but look at self-interest through the lens of purpose because that will allow them to build community that will build goodwill, loyalty, word of mouth advertising, and ultimately profit. Well, Simon, thank you very much for your time. You're very welcome. Pleasure. Pleasure, really nice to meet you, Dewey. Yeah.